it's Penny here and today we're going to be doing the TBR book tag where we talk about all the books that I have to read. TBR means to be read if you don't know. Uh, I was tagged to do this by Katie and her cats. So I will leave her video and also the original blog post down below. But let's get into the questions. Firstly, how do you keep track of your TBR pile? So at the start of the year, I bought myself a TBR cart and I put all my physical TBR books into that because I finally got it down enough that it can actually fit in a single cart. I do also use Goodreads to keep track of both the books that are on that physical pile as well as all the other books that I would like to read that I don't actually own physically. I use the library a lot so I usually look at that list when I'm deciding which books to put holds on if I don't already have too many holds from all the books I've heard about on booktube and I got too excited about and put a hold on them in the moment. Is your TBR mostly in print or in ebook? So I mean, most of my TBR is in the air. I do have some ebooks that I haven't read, and I don't really think of them as existing. I never really worry about them. I either just look at my electronic list, or I look at my physical TBR shelves. And if I happen to have an ebook, when I decide to pick one off my electronic list, then I might read the ebook. I probably need to do something about the ebooks that I need to read, especially because I know that at least some of them is the Murderbot series, which I am really excited to read, but I just haven't managed to prioritize it into my TBRs. So that gets us into the next question, which is how do you determine what book from your TBR to read next? So last year, I think I actually made a website called the TBR Machine. I'll link that down below as well if you want to check it out. And it just generates random reading prompts. So every month I use that to generate these days about three books that I want to pick off my physical TBR shelves and I have to match them to the prompts that the TBR machine spits out. I do also have like two levels to my physical TBR cart. Uh, the bottom level is books that I can't read yet until I read other books and so I try to prioritize the books on the middle shelf which will unlock the ones on the bottom shelf. It doesn't always work out because the prompts don't always fit but that's how I'm trying to prioritize things. Also, as I said, I've often got a bunch of library holds coming through just from like moments of weakness. I'm supposed to be trying to get my physical TBR down to zero, so I really shouldn't be putting many library holds on at all so that I can focus on my physical TBR, but sometimes I just get excited and I can't help myself. I'm really lucky to have a really good library system that I can access, and so there's just so many great books that I can get through the library. And I have to be careful not to go overboard. I do also do a fair amount of readathons, and of course, then I have to read books that fit those prompts. I try to pick them off my Goodreads TBR shelves where I can. Then, what book has been on your TBR the longest? So, I can't really use my Goodreads shelves for this because I know that the ones I put on there in the beginning were ones that I owned physically, and I didn't add them on there in the. Oh, maybe, maybe it can help. Let's have a look. Okay, so. Looking at a combination of my Goodreads shelves and my physical TBR cat, I actually think the one that's been on my Goodreads shelves the longest is Doors of Stone by Patrick Rothfuss because that's how long we've been waiting for that book. But also, um, I think it is this Jaren by Kate Elliott. So a long, 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 long time ago, I read the second book, His Conquering Sword by Kate Elliott, not really realizing it was a second book, I think, even though it says book two right there. So maybe I just decided to read it because I had it, because at the time I didn't have access to many books. And I think I got this one from a thrift shop. And then I think at some point I actually forked out the money for the first book because I liked this one so much. I don't really remember that much about what it's about. Something about this woman who comes from like some futuristic society with spaceships and they land on like more of a fantastical world and she basically becomes part of that society. I don't know, I've only read the second book so it would be really interesting to read the first one. I just still haven't gotten to it. Next is name a book that you recently added to your TBR. So my physical TBR shelves, this is spoilers for the haul which I'm going to film straight after this, but it is Black Powder War by Naomi Novik. This is the third book I think in the Temuria series which I'm interested in. I got it for 50 cents. Then as far as my Goodreads shelves, the most recent book I've added is The Dream Daughter by Diane Chamberlain. This is some kind of weird time travel thing where this woman in the past has a baby with health issues and then something happens where someone who has been living in the future is going to help her with that. I'm not sure if that's the synopsis at all, but 
Gabby Reads was talking about it and it made me excited to pick it up. Then name a book that's specifically on your TBR because of its beautiful cover. So for my physical TBR, I think it's actually Beyond Ragnarok by Mickey Zakaraika. Now when I picked this up, I had read some stuff by this author before and so I know I like her writing. This is also not the first book in the series, so I can't actually read this until I sort out some other books. But really, I knew about this series because all of the cover art is beautiful. Like, this actual book is not the most beautiful edition, but this art, oh, it's so lovely. Uh, and I really want to own the whole series, but I really think I want different editions that are much prettier and, like, showcase the art more rather than this ugliness. Then having a quick look at my Goodreads, the most recent book I added purely because of the cover is one called The Scapegraces by Hannah Abigail Clark. It's just beautiful. It's also got something about lesbian witches, so that sounds cool. And so I put it on my TBR. I really should be more selective about what things I put on my TBR. However, the next question is name a book on your TBR that you never plan on reading. And that's not the point of a TBR. Like, TBR is to be read. If it's not to be read, I don't count it as being on my TBR. Like, even if I owned a book I didn't plan on reading, I would just have it somewhere and I wouldn't count it as part of my TBR. Do I own a book like that? I don't think so. I mean, that's just kind of silly, isn't it? The next question is name an unpublished book on your TBR that you're excited for. I recently did a video about all the releases in the rest of the year that I'm excited about, so I think I'll link that there. And also in the mid-year freakout tag, it was trying to get me to pick a favourite of all of those, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to pick just one. There are lots, and they're all amazing, and I can't wait for all of them. Don't make me pick favourites. Next, name a book on your TBR that you feel like everyone has read but you. And again, I don't think I have this. I get FOMO quite easily, and so if I start feeling like everyone else is enjoying something and I haven't read it yet, then I will probably just read it. And I think as well, I follow such a diverse group of booktubers and readers that there's nothing that all of them would read and like because they all like such different things. I'll have a quick look on my Goodreads and see if I can see anything that looks like I'm missing out. Oh, I know the answer actually. The answer is A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. Now not everybody's read this, but a lot of people have been reading that. I'm still waiting for my library hold to come through, so I won't be reading it for a little while, I think. Let's check on that hold. Okay, so I'm currently 56th on the hold queue. That is a hold queue that is 328 books long. I was originally like a hundred and something, so we've come down about halfway in a pretty short time, so I don't think it will take too much longer. I know my library has a lot of copies of this book, so maybe I'll get it like in the next month. I don't have time to read it in the next month. I kind of hope it doesn't come too quick. Next, name a book on your TBR that everyone recommends to you. Now, I would say for my physical TBR shelves, there's definitely nothing there because that's like a really weird selection of books because I get it mostly just from thrift shops and like there's so much luck and fate involved in thrift shop shopping. But I really don't know that there's anything else either. I mean, probably The Wheel of Time is one I've had recommended a couple of times. And it is one that I would really like to get to. It's just a big chunky series and I don't know how to fit it into my life. Then name a book on your TBR that you're dying to read. I think for me it would probably be these two which I've recently acquired and I still haven't managed to fit on the TBR so this is how you lose the time war. Super excited for this and The Stone Sky is the last book in the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Super excited to get to this although I'm a little bit worried that it's going to be a bit of a disappointment but I'm pretty sure even if it's a disappointment I'll still mostly love it. <laughs> then lastly how many books are on your TBR? So my physical TBR shelves I just updated it based on some books that I've hauled recently and it's actually 43 books. I think that's down from like 70 something at the start of the year so we're making good progress. I'd like to keep making more progress and get it towards zero. I doubt I'm gonna make zero this year but next year I think it's definitely doable. I mean I could probably do it this year if I focused. I'm bad at focusing. Then on my Goodreads want to read shelf which includes my physical TBR books I actually have 370 books and I think I there are probably are some that I could go through and remove and I think I've seen a couple that I've actually read but Goodreads duplicates something so I could probably tidy that up a bit. 
but I don't think it's like an unrealistic number. I could read that over a few years, maybe. I need to somehow make sure that I'm reading more than I'm adding, but maybe I am. Okay, so that's that video, right? Is it?